Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about exponential growth and decay. So what do we mean by exponential growth or decay? So uh, here I have maybe two ways that you might think about exponential growth, right? So for some, you hear the word exponential, you think e to the x, and so it's got some sort of graph like this, right, where it uh, starts getting bigger faster as you as you go to the right. and you know, if you try to put that into words, like what's really going on there, you're kind of thinking, especially if you think back to, you know, maybe biology where you've seen this and like, you know, bacterial growth or something, like the more that there is, the faster it grows, right? So let's try to be a bit more precise. So more specifically, we say that growth or decay is exponential if it occurs at a rate proportional to the amount present. So these are the kind of words you're looking for when you're thinking exponential growth or decay, like this rate proportional to the amount present. Um, so what does this mean for us? Well, we just talked about differential equations and we can actually express this in terms of a differential equation, right? So we have a rate. Well, our rate is like y prime if our amount, our original function is y. And then this says that our rate is proportional to the amount. So y prime is some proportion of y. So k here is going to be a constant, and it'll be what is known as our growth constant. And so this is exactly what we mean. Okay, so this differential equation represents exponential growth or decay. Uh, how do you know which is which? Well, uh, if you have k greater than zero, then that means you are growing, right? So we're multiplying by something positive there, and so it's going to be a positive proportion, and so this would be growth. And then if it's negative, you have a decreasing rate, and thus we would have decay, right? We're lessening the amount present, uh, since our rate is negative. So now you may be interested in what is a solution of this differential equation, right? So, you know, we've been talking about solving differential equations. Uh, this one isn't like immediately obvious to solve with the techniques that we've talked about thus far, right? We don't just have an obvious uh, antiderivative or something here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna give you an example. Uh, but it's also something that should make sense, right? There's a reason we call this exponential growth or decay, right? Somehow we should be seeing e to the x involved here, and this is where it comes into play. So if you let y equal a e to the k t, so uh, t is gonna be our variable, again, k is our growth constant, and a will also be constant, um, then let's see what this derivative is, okay? so. Constant multiple rule says the a hangs around, and then e to the kt with the chain rule will hang around, and the derivative of kt, if t is our variable, is going to be the constant k, right? So that's the derivative of our inside. And so rewriting this, we have k times a e to the kt, but what is a e to the kt? This is exactly y, right? So this is y prime, or it satisfies y prime equal, equals ky, and so this is a solution to this differential equation. And so this is where this exponential uh, function is coming into exponential growth or decay. So when you see rate proportional to whatever, um, you want to be thinking in terms of this differential equation, and then you want to be translating into this formula if you want to solve for things. So let's look at an example here. So suppose we have some mold, because uh, everyone likes to talk about mold, growing at a rate proportional to the amount present. So again, seeing this phrase should make you immediately think this is an exponential growth or decay problem. Uh, so initially here, we have two grams of mold, and two days later, we have five grams, and we want to know how much is there after eight days. So we want to model this, right? So we want to immediately be thinking, okay, this is what I'm talking about, y equals a e to the kt, uh, where t here is going to be in days, right? And y is the amount of mold uh, in grams. 
And so we just need to solve, right? So we want to find what y is when t is 8. But to do that, we need to figure out a and k first, right? So we need to solve for a and k, which are currently unknown constants. So a is always very easy. It's going to correspond to our initial amount. So why is that true? Well, what's y of 0 going to be, right? Initial is when time is 0. So it's going to be a e to the k times 0. But e to the 0 is 1. And so this is exactly a. And we know we initially have 2. And so this is always going to be the case for a. It's going to be your initial amount. So now we know that y is 2e to the kt. So we, we have a little bit more information. And next, um, we want to plug in this 2 days and 5 grams, right? So we know that y is 5 when t is 2. So we have 2e to the 2k. And so here we just need to solve for k. So what we want to do is isolate the e to the 2k and use the natural log to kind of get rid of the, the e and get the 2k down. So we'll have 5 halves is e to the 2k. Take the natural log of each side. We've got natural log of 5 halves is 2k. And then k is natural log of 5 halves over 2. So this is our growth constant. This is obviously not like a super nice number. If you want to plug it into a calculator, go ahead. But this is this is good enough for me. Um, so now we're ready, though, right? We, we know now that y is equal to 2e to the natural log of 5 halves over 2t. And so the last thing we need is, well, what happens when t is 8? So we have 2e to the this times 8, so 8 over 2 is 4, so we end up with 4 natural log of 5 halves. Um, you could just leave it like that, but this actually has a pretty nice form because the natural log of 5 halves times 4 is the same thing as, remember, the log property. This can go as an exponent on the inside, so it's like 5 halves to the 4th um, on the inside. And 5 to the fourth is uh, 625. And so we have uh, the natural log of 625 over 16. And so when you take e to it then, right? So y of eight is two e to the natural log of 625 over 16, but e and natural log cancel. And so uh, you get two over 16 becomes one over eight. And so it's just 625 eighths. For your exercise, I want you to take a look at another applied example. So <clears throat> here, uh, when you see interest that is compounded continuously, like in this case, so here we're investing $1,000 uh, at 5% interest rate compounded continuously, then uh, the compounded continuously part means that it obeys the y equals ae to the, in this case, 0.05t. So your k, your growth constant, uh, is going to be the percentage, right? And so 5% corresponds to 0.05 in this case. Um, so using this formula, I want you to figure out how long it takes to get to $2,000. All right, thank you for watching.